Fox weather is your Hurricane HQ, and as we near the peak of the season, the Atlantic is starting to show some signs of life. NOAA holding firm on its forecast for an above average year. Uh, those are the numbers you're looking at them. Uh, there was this little tweak uh, to the forecast yesterday, it came down just a touch. Back in May, the agency warned that we could be in for an active season. Uh, that latest outlook suggests that that is most certainly uh, still on track. So let's bring in uh, their lead forecaster, lead hurricane forecaster, Matt Rosencrans. Matt, uh, great to have you back with us. Uh, no imminent threats to land, thankfully, with what we've been watching this week. But the Atlantic Basin is definitely in a different state than the last time that you and I spoke. Uh, what are your trends, what we've seen this past week and uh, some of the indications moving forward? Yeah, so we're still looking at the warm sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, um, 84th percentile in the global tro in the tropics. Um, at 93rd percentile in the entire North Atlantic. Um, so there's plenty of warm water out there to support it. Um, yeah, we did come down in the forecast a little bit uh, just because we are start seeing some upper level wind shear uh, that hasn't been favorable. Um, that's come down recently, uh, but it kind of, you know, squashed some early potential season activity there. Yeah, no question. And those maybe ones that would have stayed out over open water. Sometimes we get some of these throwaway storms early season. Feels like the dust uh, may have uh, prevented some of those, but those don't, from an impact standpoint, really change a whole lot. No, they, they don't. The impacts on those, you know, and the factors going into the season haven't really changed that much. The dust settles down typically as you get into the, uh, into, you know, August, and into the kind of heart of that season. Right, as we're coming into the ramp up part of the season now that dust does settle down. Yeah, uh, there we go. I mean, that ramp up that comes through the second half of August, September uh, being the big month truly with the peak there on the 10th. It appears as though we might be trending a little bit in that direction. Extended forecast models, not necessarily with 96L, but the number of waves behind that might find a more uh, favorable MDR. Yeah, and the global tropics hazards from no, right. We have the 40% uh, chance of that formation uh, into week two. Um, so, you know, just looking at the dates on you know, August 13th to 19th, um, there's a good formation chance east of the uh, Lesser Antilles out there. Matt, is that a challenge uh, for NOAA from a messaging standpoint? I mean, you only have to go back to last year. Uh, last year is in a perfect comp because we had Beryl, which was bizarre and super intense, way out in the MDR. But when you have a, a fairly quiet, early part of the season. Uh, last year I mentioned because it was so backloaded and we look at the numbers, we've got so much of this hurricane season still to go. We do and that's why people shouldn't let their guard down, um, right? It's There is still the bulk of the season to go. August 20th and later is 70% of your hurricanes for the year. Uh, so really take the time now while it's quiet, that quote unquote quiet before the storm, review your plans, Make sure your NOAA weather radio has got batteries in it. Make sure you've got a way to get information, you know, whether it's from the Internet, whether it's from you know, Washington Fox weather, wherever it is, right, get your information. Matt, before we let you go, you had mentioned the wind shear being maybe an overperformer through the early part of the season. Is there a variable you're looking for through the heart of the season and the second half uh, that there's maybe a, a touch of uncertainty that could dictate what, what the season looks like? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, a couple of years ago, we had, you know, that wind shear, um, but we also had some upper level temperatures that were too high. So you didn't really get the good deep thunderstorms that can kind of turn into the tropical storms. Um, seeing a blip of that being a little bit warm um, way out in the Atlantic. Um, and then also the West African monsoon. We're monitoring that because, you know, that's where the waves come off. That's where all these things kind of get their start. Yeah, where those seeds come from, right, that eventually grow yeah. over the MDR. But yeah, that upper level stability uh, one of the driving factors of the weird lull we had last year, but then all yep. that impact that followed that lull. So uh, we'll be tracking every bit of it. It's always great to check in with you. Uh, that's the lead hurricane season forecaster with Noah, Matt Rosencrantz. Thank you.